thing. So that chlorine floater works really well. Um, you can see the the minimum and the maximum water lines over there. Uh, it recommends for you to uh, have it at least to the minimum line, but not to exceed the maximum line. So ours is kind of sitting in between there. Um, it's got a double filter system. Let me see if I can get a shot of those. Uh, I don't know how well you can see them. There's one over there to the right and one on the left that has the letter C above them. Those are the two filters. And it comes with two filters that go inside there. And I did price the replacements. They have them at Walmart, which is where I bought this uh, hot tub. And for a two-pack, it's $9.97. So it's not bad at all. Um, right above that filter there, you see it, uh, another little... Um, I don't know what you would call that. <laughs> uh, that's the outflow, though. Uh, that's where the hot water comes in at. Um, and then if you can see around the edge at the bottom, I don't know how well it's showing up. Uh, it's really sunny out here, so it's hard to see. Uh, there's little holes around the edge at the bottom. That is where your bubbles come out. That goes all the way around. Um, so let me go over here, and I'll turn the bubbles on so that you can see how efficient those work. We really like the bubbles. The only negative thing I would say about the bubbles is it is quite noisy. Um, I don't believe jets on a regular hot tub are quite that noisy, but it's really not a hindrance or anything. Um, the sides of these, uh, it's very sturdy. I can barely push that in. Um, I can sit, I'm uh, fairly heavy and I can sit on the edge of that and it doesn't give at all. My husband. Uh, he's like 200 pounds. He can sit on the edge of it and it doesn't hardly give. So it's very, very sturdy. Um, it also comes with um, this ground cover here that's underneath it. It's kind of the underside of it kind of looks like, um, like a heavy duty bubble wrap. Um, and that is a thermal cover so that the, uh, the coldness from the concrete does not come up through and cool your water off. Um, Really, with in my experience with a regular hot tub, it cools off a few degrees while you're sitting in it. Uh, this is no exception. It does the same. But once you're out, you put the cover on, and it will, it'll heat back up to temp pretty well. Um, it took us about 20 minutes to set this up, beginning to finish. And then it took almost right at 24 hours for it to get up to temp. And that was our water temperature at the beginning was 59 degrees, and that was taking it from 59 up to 104. Um, it was it was ready to get in. We got in it when it was about 97 degrees with our kids, um, and that was that was probably about 18 hours, if I had to guess, after we had uh, filled it up, and it only took uh, like 30, 45 minutes to fill up. It really didn't take that long at all. So overall right now, uh, I would say we're completely satisfied with it. Um, there's not really been anything so far that has been a complaint. Uh, I will try to do another one of these videos maybe later in the year once we've been using it for several months and uh, give another review on how it's working and how it's holding up. But for right now, I, I highly recommend it. I got it at Walmart. It was $357 at Walmart. And the only additional thing I had to buy was a a little tub of one inch chlorine tablets and that was I believe 1383 for the uh, tub and those will probably last um, probably several months uh, because you only put one in the floater and so uh, this is my review I really like it I really recommend it if you don't want to spend a